Hello and welcome to Runslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for information regarding humanoid robot partners in the age of artificial, artificial intelligence and advanced robotics. And I am here to give you more and more information, tons of information regarding this topic. Not only that, we will talk about many more things that includes human sexuality, psychology, different types of behaviors and whatnot, everything under the sun. Now look, have you ever thought about the movement patterns in physical intimacy? Have you ever imagined of what kind of movements we uh, adopt or we adapt to uh, regard, uh, during this physically intimate acts? There are a lot of movements, different types of movements, isn't it? So there are different types of movement patterns. Right, and today's topic is movement patterns. But before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have already subscribed, please keep supporting me. It means a lot to me. Please share with your friends, talk about it in your uh, social media and uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like. I don't mind. Drop your comments, good, bad, anything, whatever it comes to your mind. But do me this favor. So that I can proceed. I can give you more information, more latest information on human and robots. Now look, there is something called sensor feedback and control, right? This is a technical term. Let me uh, talk about it now. This adaptable leg joints, because everything is everything starts from there, isn't it? Any kind of physically intimate act starts from that part with your robot partner, of course. It often incorporates sensors, right? Sensors is something which is very important in human and robot partners and especially in physically intimate acts. Sensors like accelerometers, gyroscopes, force sensors, etc. I will talk about them separately in separate videos so you will learn more about this particular uh, technology, especially uh, if you are interested in to learn. To provide real time feedback, on the robot's posture, movement, and interaction with the environment. Environment here, of course, you, me, and humans, of course. This information, they uh, take the information through the sensors. This information is then used by the robot's control system to adjust the joint stiffness. Look, think how, look at the finer elements, right? Because robots take the information, keep it in its mind. I mean, not in the mind in that sense, but in their control system, in their processor to adjust the stiffness according to your position, according to your mindset, according to your past activities. Okay. According to your movement patterns above all, because it knows how you will move from this point to that point your movement patterns, how will it be changed in the future, okay, in the near future. So overall get in real time. It's a very difficult thing to understand, I know, because as a layman, I am also a layman like you, but I want to know about it and I want to let you know, let you know about it, okay. Just, it's a kind of passion, nothing else, you know. So movement patterns change during this physically intimate acts and your robot partner studies that pattern, learns from this pattern and changes or dynamically changes its stiffness of its leg joints so that you can enter smoothly, so that you can move uh, according to your uh, plans and it knows it everything. It's a kind of mysterious thing. It looks like a mysterious thing, but it's not mysterious thing. There is science behind it. Okay. So I hope it gives you an idea about how robot adjusts its positions, adjusts everything with your uh, movement patterns during the physically intimate acts. So keep watching, keep supporting me and see you soon in the next video. Till then stay safe and take care. Thanks for watching.